On Tuesday, Montana lawmakers said the state needs to do something to respond to the growth in facial recognition technology, but they aren't yet on the same page as to what that something should be. The Economic Affairs Interim Committee debated an initial draft bill during a meeting on Tuesday. It would prohibit state and local governments from using facial recognition systems, except to investigate a serious crime or a missing or endangered person, or to identify someone who has died. It would also give several state agencies an exemption to continue current contracts with facial recognition companies. For example, the Department of Justice says it uses a system to prevent identity theft in driver's license applications by comparing the old photo to the new photo. Supporters said the goal of this draft was to balance legitimate state uses with privacy concerns. But some lawmakers said they wanted the bill to go even further. They suggested a full moratorium on the use of facial recognition. Are we willing to give up our freedom for that? Safety? For the state of Montana? I want the state of Montana to be different than the rest of the states. We don't need this. Others said they wanted to keep a draft like this one so they can offer it to the legislature as minimum guidelines in case a stronger bill can't pass. We need to come up with something we all can agree on, or as close to as possible, that we feel the rest of the legislature can support just so we have those sideboards. A spokesperson for the Department of Justice said they don't want unlimited use of facial recognition technology, and they'll work within the guidelines set by the legislature. Committee members say they plan to hold several more meetings on this issue before the end of the year, in hopes of finalizing a proposal that they can present to the next legislative session. In Helena, Jonathan Amberian, MTN News.